Right here we're looking at the SIC Recon 10 and as you can tell from the outline it's really really fat in the middle and tapers out really narrow on the tips. Now there's quite a bit of nose rocker over here so you can pretty much take any drop and not have a problem. Um, and the, with the tail this narrow, step back and this 10-6 turns very similar to like what my 9-6 would turn like. I'm running on the bottom here quads so as you can see here I'm running the um, Takayama Halos and I really like those fins. Makes the board uh, real drivey, turns on a dime. If you want, tail can slide out a little bit. And for a 10-6 board, this turns pretty exceptional. This is the TWCC construction and surprisingly so, this board is really light. It's one of my lighter stand-up boards that I've got and real easy to carry. Now right here in the standing area, it is super stable. Take a couple steps back and goes rail to rail fairly nicely. One thing about all SIC boards and it goes for the stand-up uh, surfing board in particular is that these boards glide really, really well. It reminded me of my 12.6 uh, bullet and I was out here paddling with my brother and he was on a 10-footer and I was just pulling way ahead of him but I was cruising and he's like, man, are you paddling hard? And I said, no, it's the board. So if you want something that glides really well, super stable, then this could be the board for you. Recon has a Gore-Tex uh, vent plug so it lets air in and out but not water. That's important when the board gets hotter or colder and starts to expand and contract. And this handle, which has nice kind of grip right here, it's pretty comfy on the hands, easy to carry. But for the most part, the board is really light. So it's easy to throw over your shoulder and I think even a, a lighter weight woman or you know, a little bit older teenager could easily carry this thing. As you can see on the bottom, the fin box setup is really set up for a quad. You can run a thruster setup because it has the FCS plug in the middle, but there's no um, long box that you can put in that kind of bigger center fin if you want. So you can run this, you know, quad with a small trailer or as a three fin, but I think because of the size of the board and the width, it seems to be better off as a quad. I've only really tried this board in you know, waist to chest high waves and it works exceptionally well in that. Um, I tried it in really hard stormy conditions on a bigger swell like overhead and I had some problems um, trying to figure it out. This is pretty much the only board I ride that's a quad. I'm normally riding a three fins and I push hard on the tail. So keeping that in mind, this board is pretty exceptional for its size. And that's the Recon 10.